Ahem. Dr. Lau, you have a visitor. Oh! Good evening, Dr. Lau. Hello. And you are... Surely you recognize him. Oh, Dr. Vargas, you're the Central Operations Coordinator. Quite so, young lady. I apologize for the mess, sir. If I'd known we were going to have such important visitors... That's quite all right, Dr. Lau. What brings you from the Fulcrum Tower, sir? A most grave matter, I'm afraid. One I believe you specifically to be most suited to handle. Shall I, Father? Please do, Galadea. Central, I believe the audio EM capture system in this room to be faulty. Please run a deep diagnostic on the system. Certainly, Miss Vargas. Beginning scan. We have perhaps two minutes until the diagnostic cycle is complete. Dr. Lau, have you heard of a gentleman by the name of Baxter? Dr. Adam Baxter, convicted murderer and a brilliant engineer in his time. Yes, I've heard of him. My partner had a history with him. His parole hearing and eventual release really got to Dr. Regis. Quite so, poor Viksha. I don't think Charlie ever got over it. And unfortunately, it appears that he's taking things into his own hands. You have a connection to Regis as well? Quite so. He worked for me in a research team, as did Baxter in the same project. And Viksha Regis? Precisely. We lost half of the team in one fell swoop that day. Dr. Lau, when did you last see Dr. Regis? Last night, before Central went into siege mode. Why? What's happened? This morning, Dr. Baxter was found dead in his workplace. Oh, no. Oh, Charlie, no. I share your concern, Dr. Lau. Central believes Dr. Regis to be the most likely suspect. He would have known that Central would be unable to provide oversight during the siege. And he had no shortage of motive, as I'm sure you'd agree. You're the controller of Central Operations. Why would you need to cut the camera feed with a trick like that? I apologize, but for the sake of city security... Yeah, yeah, can't tell me. Classified, ultra, violet A, etc. I'm glad you understand. I might understand, but I'm not happy about it. Noted, Dr. Lau. It just doesn't sound like him, though. He had other outlets, like his garden. I don't fully agree with Central's assessment either. That is why I'm activating you on this case. You want me to investigate Baxter's murder with my partner as the prime suspect? Isn't that a pretty serious conflict of interest? It is within my prerogative to select agents I feel appropriate for casework, if necessary. Using it to aid an old friend, a good man, like Charlie Regis, I think that's worthwhile. Remember that your primary responsibilities are to the law and to the city. I think I've heard enough. That's good to hear. I'll have Galatea t-mail the case data to you. If I can be of any further help, don't hesitate to drop by my office. At the top of the Fulcrum Tower, make an appointment beforehand. Diagnostic cycle of monitoring systems complete. No wetware or firmware anomalies detected. However, please ask Dr. Regis to stop obstructing the land's assembly. I wish you luck with your work, Dr. Lau. For Regis's sake. What was that? Sorry, Regis. A physical photograph. The team. February 2067. One of the faces is scratched out.
Regis is probably the only person I know who'd want his picture on paper. I guess defacing a digital one just isn't the same. Dr. Lau, so good to see you again, my dear. Dr. Vargas, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. How long have you known Dr. Regis? Since, uh, 2067. He joined a research project of mine. He was a good man then. Very principled. And now? I have no doubt goodness remains, though since joining Cell, I feel that he expresses this solely through his work. Do you know about his garden, on Tier 42 of this building? Ah yes, I've been there myself a couple of times, though I hope we can keep that between us, Dr. Lau. What did you think of it? It is certainly an interesting way of coping with grief, though that it has lasted so long is perhaps cause for concern. What can you tell me about this incident? Currently not a great deal, hence why you have been tasked with this investigation. Dr. Baxter has been found murdered in his workplace, and Dr. Regis was caught entering and leaving the facility by their security infrastructure. How about a background to the case? A history? Baxter has been responsible for the murder of Viksha Regis. Charles Regis's wife. He was caught and convicted and until recently had been serving a sentence for the crime. I'm aware of this so far, yes. He had recently been paroled with the Vickerman Corporation as his sponsor. I can only imagine Regis's feelings on the matter. Violent, no doubt. But I knew Charlie Regis, and I know what kind of man he was. Justice is his motivator, but with his background, out in the hot zones. You worry that this might have been his idea of justice? Precisely. That, my dear, is why I need you to investigate this case before Central jumps to any conclusions to the matter. You mentioned Regis's wife, Viksha. Ah, yes. Vicky. She was a student of mine in the 50s, in Buenos Aires. She spent several years working for the UN in hot zones around the world. When she had finished, she was the natural choice for the project I was just commencing. He never really spoke about her. They were very much in love. It pains me greatly to see a man so afflicted by a loss. She was a engineer as well? Yes and no. She specialized in organic computing, a field perhaps more closely aligned to your own. Though Regis has an obvious motive, can you think of anyone else who might have a reason to do this? I shall be honest. Dr. Baxter was not an easy man to work with. There were many who disliked him in his time, though none I knew could call him his uh, enemy. You mentioned a project that Viksha was recruited for. I'm afraid that's classified. Galatea, how can we help if we block every question? It was a project that utilized the expertise of both Viksha and Charles. Essentially, we were studying organic interfacing and large-scale computing. Large-scale? As in, city coordination intelligences? Like Central? On this matter, I can answer no further. What was your opinion of Dr. Baxter? As a scientist, 20 years ago, he was peerless in his field. But as a human being? He did not take refusal well. 
This apparently is what led to his breakdown. And the murder that followed that. Precisely. I have not spoken to him personally since the trial, however. I'm afraid I couldn't enlighten you about his recent state of mind. I'm certainly aware of your role in the city, Dr. Vargas. But who is your lovely assistant? <laughs> of course, you haven't been properly introduced. This is my daughter, Galatea. She fills the role of my administrative support. I'm being groomed for succession, apparently. Oh, don't put it like that. You make it sound so... Uh, dynastic. That certainly is not what we wish to represent. Why don't you believe that Dr. Regis is responsible for Baxter's death? I cannot say for certain that he is not Dr. Lau. I simply hold on to the hope that he is not. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. That's a lot of green. Excuse me. Great, they finally sent someone. You here to get the body out? Uh, maybe. I'm Max Lau, cell case specialist. No kidding. I'm the lab director, Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. What's your role here? I'm the supervisor for the telepresence factoring labs. Most of it's automatic. I just make sure it's all running like it should. Sounds like a big responsibility. <laughs> it's a lousy job most of the time. TP is where management sticks people they don't want in public-facing roles. You're not happy with it? For the last few years, my career has been one disaster after another. I'm just glad it's plateaued into some kind of stability. Can you tell me what happened? Baxter got killed. In any more detail? When we started this afternoon, a whole lot of samples had been tampered with. We tried to call Baxter to find out what the hell was going on in the specimen bank. And he didn't answer. He didn't. Turned out the door to the specimen bank was locked too. You haven't seen the body? No, nope, not in person if that's what you mean. We got the camera feed online, but it was obvious that Baxter wasn't going to be coming out. When did you last see him? Hmm, guess it could have been Wednesday? So he could have been killed any time in the past three days? Hmm. I guess, but it wouldn't fit with everything else. What's the purpose of this lab? Plant studies? Yes and no. It's a TP lab. Telepresence. There's a lot of research that's not exactly legal in some countries. But in Newton, pretty much anything goes. Exactly. If someone in the EU needs research done on something hazardous, infectious, or endangered, they send the orders here and we carry out the testing. What sort of research? Mostly we make new angiosperms from scratch. That's flowering plants to you. Gee, thanks. Why would people want new flowers? Sometimes it's a drug delivery method. The earliest commercial examples were fruit that grew packed with insulin. A lot of new wetware begins its life as gingineered fruit, too. Must be awkward if they cross-pollinate in the wild. And a legal headache. Part of our job is making sure the copy protection works. Copy protection in plants? Ouch. Aside from yourself, who else works in this laboratory? There's my intern, Martin Easter. Operates the factoring line. If you meet him, it's easy to see why they put him in here. And until recently, there was Dr. Baxter. Tell me about Mr. Neister. He came over from Eurofed on a study program. He's... Well, he's young. I guess we're all like that in our youth. Good colleague? He's all right. He got on board with that annoying maladist trend. He knows how to follow instructions, so I let him get on with it. Is Visa still active? Dr. Lau, we do not employ undocumented illegals in this lab. Just have to check. I'm sure you understand. Tell me about Dr. Baxter. Oh, he was bad enough to work with in the 60s. As part of his parole, they stuck a governor in his head. Since then, it's like talking to a badly written synthetic. You don't care for him a great deal. That man killed Vicky. Frankly, he deserved what he got. But you still work with him. He worked for me. It was another part of his parole. 
Vickerman's management persuaded centralized government that his skills were going to waste in prison. The company wanted him supervised by someone who knew him. Hence, they dragged my sorry ass in. What did you have him doing? He organized the specimen bank. It's the kind of thing we could just leave him at for hours on end. Days, sometimes. Really, it could have just been done by the facility's AI, but I had to give him something. Otherwise, you'd have to talk to him? Exactly. You've got a keen mind. What's your take on this? Hey, I'm not the detective, young lady. You know what I think? I think Regis did what they ought to have done 20 years ago. Why do you say that? Seems logical. We've got him coming into the labs on security, then we got him coming out an hour later. When we get here, we've got Baxter's corpse contaminating the specimen bank. Anything else? Well, something strange. Since we got in, we keep finding samples that have been tampered with. Looks like he spent his hour here messing up the genomes of our specimens. That quickly? If anyone was good enough to do it that fast, it'd be Charlie. You knew Regis as well? Yeah, I was on a research team with him and his wife back in the 60s. Baxter, too. You've apparently known him a long time. Does this seem like something Regis would do? Oh, after what he did to Vicky, I'd have strangled Baxter, too. I tell you, if he did do it, I wouldn't blame him one bit. Do you think he did it, though? I don't know. He was always kind of shady. Tell me about it. They made him do some real awful stuff out in the hot zones. Such as? Let's just say his escape led to a whole lot of people being jailed for war crimes. So, you worked with Regis and his wife, as well as Baxter. Did you also work for Dr. Vargas? That pompous ass? Yeah, I worked for him. You don't care for him? He was a competent researcher, but he lives for politics. Everything was always about making the world a better place. And you don't think it should be better? That's a nice idea, just not realistic. And what we ended up making, it was actually never mind. What happens in the specimen bank? It's where the samples of plants and growth matrices are stored. There's a huge library of subjects to work with, natural and man-made. And that's where Baxter worked? Yeah, it's not exactly taxing. I wanted to see what he could do since they put a governor in him. You left him to work alone in there? I'll be honest, he was not a pleasant man to talk to. Why didn't the facility's CI detect Baxter's vitals suddenly failing? It's a potentially hazardous environment in here. We were wondering that as well. This afternoon we noticed the monitoring system in the sample lab was in recursion. All hell broke loose when the CI suddenly realized what had happened. So either you've got a technical fault with the software or wetware interfacing. Which is unlikely given how much they cost. Or someone breached the security systems to cover Baxter's murder. That gives me more hope. Regis would have no idea how to do that. You seem preoccupied. That obvious, huh? We found a couple of specimens that Regis tampered with in his hour here. So I gotta run through the catalog and dig out the backups. Sounds straightforward. Not when there's 11,000 samples to take. Oh, I could punch Regis for this. Though, I want to shake his hand for Baxter so it kinda evens out. What's been done to the samples? He's used a customized viral vector to add huge amounts of junk DNA to their genomes. These are the last two I found, Medioflorens interensis and Linacea lawsonis. May I have a look? Do you think it'll help? Just a hunch. Huh, non-binary, quaternary data string? What do you mean? My wetware systems are interpreting the genomes of these plants as sections of an audio file. He's used the DNA to store information. Hmm, you think so? It's incomplete. The two samples only make up a third of the data. But M and L, my initials? This can't be a coincidence. He's left a message. What does it say? Not sure yet. I could probably construct the whole message if I can find where he's hidden the rest of it. Safe to say it's in the other plants he's engineered. Here, take this. You can sample DNA from the plants around the lab. If you run out of sampling cartridges, you can reload it at this console. Thanks. How long would it take to sample everything in the lab? <laughs> Only a couple of years. We have over 11,000 subjects. You're better off looking for specimens that would fill the gaps in the clue he left. 
I wonder why Regis hid a message inside the DNA of these plants. DNA's been used as a data storage medium before. Rather than on-off binary, DNA would be quaternary bits. Adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. If he just left a message on one of the systems, though, or even on paper... Then someone could have destroyed or erased it. Short of burning down the entire lab, they'd have no way to be sure they destroyed a message hidden like this. Especially since he scrambled so many of the other samples as camouflage. He needs to make sure it's found. And based on the layout, he wants me to find it. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? Hmm. I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, variegated, that is, multicolored leaves, and produced large, round fruit. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of orchidea- And? Hmm. I do remember there and produced- What sort of research were you conducting in the 60s? You mean with Charlie and his wife? You might not believe it, but we were the people behind Central. Central? The city governing AI Central? The same. Newton was looking for a coordinator AI. Vargas put together a team including the new Mr. and Mrs. Regis. New me. Regis never mentioned anything about this. It wasn't a happy memory for him. He left after the unpleasantness. We finished the project a few months later. Huh. Might explain why he hates Central's guts. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. What do you think of this? Oh, my. Is that... Goodness, it seems like such a long time ago. The project was just starting and we were all so buoyant, so keen. I've never seen Regis looking this happy before. He was a different man before he lost Vicky. He's always been a good one though. I still can't quite believe he'd have done this. taken a DNA sample from it. I've taken a DNA sample from it. I've taken a DNA sample from it. It's the DNA sampler Dr. Chigwa gave me. I need to take samples from plants I think we just hid the rest of his message in. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. to growth lab. Vickerman Pharmaceuticals thanks you for your cooperation. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa? Make it quick, I'm busy. I can't get into the airlock. 
The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not even a cell agent? I'd need a pretty damn good reason. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Warning, security clearance not. Come on. New security profile created. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Lowe. Thanks. Hi there. Your fox dramatically sat on a secret arm. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. An evil engine of desire wrapped within a rude message. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. Your fox dramatically sat on a secret arm. You're not making any sense. An evil engine of desire wrapped within a rude message. Are you alright? Only one parrot quietly spat on the electric chair. Can I get your name? I can't not promise to avoid not doing that thing I don't do. Okay. Can I get your name? Insignificance could please even the most demanding follower of Floyd. Okay. What's your role at this facility? Twelve-year-old question. John Goal, anyone? I said John Goal. Uh-huh. What happened here? Did March lend her a lot of money? I see. I give up. Insignificance could please even the most demanding follower of Freud. This could be useful. Looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. I tried talking to your intern. It wasn't helpful. Oh, never mind that. He's got aphasia. Isn't that treatable? Oh, yes. He just gave it to himself. It's what the kids are into these days. Crippling neurological disorders? Yes and no. Maladism, they call it. They give themselves old diseases. It only lasts about a week each time. And you let him do that? He's not public-facing, and as long as it doesn't get in the way of his work. I figure we all did things the old folks thought were stupid back when we were kids. I need to ask Neister about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He doesn't actually have the disease. It's essentially wetware designed to occupy the Wernicke and Broca regions of the brain. This, then, produces the symptoms of the disease. That's what they're going for. I can't wait a week for the wetware to break down. Find a way to break it down early then. If we've got an emergency contamination, we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. It's an enzyme that instructs the fabricators in wetware to disassemble themselves. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector. With caviar. Really? 
How interesting. Beached questions you injector? Say that again? Overpass, did you stick me with an injector? Now I'll have to get my aphasia reach out. Not cool, man. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm CS Dr. Lau. I've been tasked with this investigation. Martin Easter. I've been tasked with the factory lab. You work with Dr. Chikwa? I work for Chikwa. I'm just the intern. Means I get stuck with all the lousy jobs she won't do. I understand. I was an intern once. So, what's a uh, CS? A detective? Case specialist. So, yes, I guess you could say that. Cool. Why'd you go and give yourself aphasia? Not just that. There are loads of syndromes. It's maladism, man. Aren't diseases like that dangerous, though? It's not permanent, man. We ain't stupid. What wear nodes in the body create the symptoms of things we want? Which you went and broke. Gee, thanks. Uh, sorry about that. In any case, they're temporary then. Exactly. I still don't get it. What's the hook for maladism? Man, you old folk never get things like MD. Old? Most of these syndromes are diseases that are completely curable. They just don't happen anymore. Society says no to them. So it's countercultural? An act of rebellion? Exactly. Diseases like that make the establishment uncomfortable. They don't want it to be a part of their society. But we show them they can't ever get rid of it completely. You're rubbing their faces in it, then. And in another way, it's uh, kind of retro. Illnesses like that are what shape society. The Black Death made Europe what it is. Got to appreciate the classics. For a lot of us, it's also about who's hardest. Posers go for little things like botulism or influenza. But you know someone's got real nose on them if they can stand a month with HIV. I'd like to hear from you what happened. So, we came in this afternoon for the late shift, right? I checked on the factoring line, and it turns out the specimens are near done. In what sense? They don't match the catalog in. Not that I'm supposed to be. I figured Baxter knew it up again, so I checked the feet. That's when you found the body? Yeah, but the Chiqua won't let me get a look. Told me to get back to work while she called Sam. Hey, can I get a look at the body with you? I'm afraid not. Official procedure and stuff. Bomber. Dr. Chigwa tells me that some of the specimens have been tampered. Oh yeah, I found one of those. Man, couldn't they have just killed the guy without messing up my work? I need to find it. Which specimen was it? Oh, uh, a Corse Brasiliano. When I found it, I just thought Baxter was nuking it up again. What did you do with it? I just sent it back to the specimen lab. Should be there in the sample store. I'll let you get back to your job. Uh-huh. Whatever. I better not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be here for days. Oh god. What a mess. Nothing unusual found on the body central. Estimation on time of death? The climate control in the specimen lab is compromising your sensors. Ambient temperature is just above freezing. taken a DNA sample from it.
biohazard tree foil on these isn't encouraging. What is this stuff? Better trance up some data on it. I haven't examined the body properly yet. Nothing unusual found on the body, Central. I haven't examined the body properly yet. Update, Central. What is the situation, Dr. Lau? Dr. Baxter is certainly dead. He's been decapitated, and not cleanly either. His head has been removed. More like destroyed. At a glance, this would be the most likely cause of death. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lau out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick, I'm busy. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab and... And? Hmm, I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had yellow flowers, variegated, that is, multicolored leaves, and produced large, round fruit. Is that all? For now. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work.
I've planted the growth matrix. Let's hope I got Mom's green fingers. Excuse me. Yeah? Hey, the pipes in the growth lab are leaking. Ah, you'll get... Again? Better go fix it before Chigwa starts yelling. need to find where he's It worked. There's some more. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. taken a DNA sample from it. I hope it doesn't grow in my pocket.
Yes. Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've got me. Oh no, Regis, no, no, no. But I... Lau, ignore anything left in the recording up to this point. Huh? Sorry for being so unhelpful with the message, but I had to be sure you were the one who heard it first. Everyone will be saying that I came to the lab to, well, for Baxter, and they might be right. Except that he's been dead since before I got here. Yes! We need to touch bases on this case. Meet me... Hmm. Meet me where we were both first involved in a case. I'll try to explain when you get here. Good luck. Oh, thank God. You've got some explaining to do, Regis.